the perfect bonsail. Oh God, no. Today we're going on another food adventure, this time in Hoi An for a classic fried crunchy treat in central Vietnam. Let's go. Ah, uh, hey, is something wrong with this horse? It's not moving. Whenever you Okay, this is gonna get us there a lot faster. Welcome to Hoi An. Now, I've been to a lot of places in Vietnam and I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful. And if you don't believe me, this montage of country people doing country things in slow motion will change your mind. Tweet, you're bringing me to this food, Ban Seo. Yep. What is, what is Ban Seo? Bánh xèo, like kind of pancake. Now, I want to warn everybody, whenever you're in Asia and you ask about a food description and they say it's kind of like a pancake, they don't mean the kind with butter and syrup. They usually mean the kind with shrimp heads and onions, okay? <laughs> but I can assure you, I've had this one already and it tastes amazing. Right now we're at the bánh xèo shop and we're making some bánh xèo. Is this all they make here, just this dish? Yes. Wow, I spend seven years in food college in Michigan. And what that taught me is that right here we have some shrimpies. We have some pork, right? Yep. We have some bean sprouts. Yep. And then we have some batter. Rice flour. And this batter is made with rice flour. So we got the oil, then we get a shrimp, then we get a pork. Mm. Then, we get then we get the batter. Mm. And she kind of like puts it around in a, in a circular motion. It makes that nice sound. You're doing it, you're killing it. Can we get some nuts over here? Knuckle, knuckle up. Bam! <laughs> Thank you. I've heard the reason they call it ban seo yep. is because of that sound. Exactly. So that basically means sizzle in Vietnamese, right? Mm -hmm. I could put my mic up next to one next time she pours it in. Uh, people have been asking for a close up ASMR type sound. Here we go. Mic'd up. This is a terrible idea. Okay. We did it. We did it. Could you hear it? That is what we call foodie ASMR, okay? And I'm gonna make a whole separate channel and it's just gonna be close-up food sounds. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. It'll be a lot of sizzling grease, fried eggs, um, maybe like a bread. Does bread make a sound when you bake it? Do you think she'll let me try making these? Yeah. Again, I spent seven years in food college in Michigan. I majored in food and food theory. And that means that I know how to do everything with food. Here's what I love about this lady, is she's not like behind me coaching me. She just went, I don't know, to the bathroom to watch some TV. She just left completely. She's not here. I know we gotta put one shrimpy, one pork, and then right here, the perfect bonseo, basically. Uh, the and put it back on the fire. That's what's up. How does that one look? I made that one. How does it look? It's a little bit uh, thick. Thick? Yeah. A little, a little bit, bit thick? Thick, yeah. Oh. All right, let me try again. Is it hot now? Does it need to be there You can put the, your finger in over there to make it. <laughs> try to use my finger to test the hotness? Is that what I should do, Tweet? <laughs> no, really, you put your chopstick. Yeah, Oh. hot. You put the chopstick down, and if it makes kind of a crackling sound? Yeah. That means it's ready. Oh, God. No. Joy. Good? 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 Oh, hey, cool. She can't even see it. I love this lady. <laughs> She's so like, yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want. I'm watching TV over here. After that, you put it a little egg here. Oh. Yeah, and then put it with uh, um, bean pro, and then you like wrap. Wrap it. Yeah. Like a taco. We've all had a Mexican taco. It's kind of like a Vietnamese taco, except not really that similar. All right, where's the bun sale? Well, I learned a lot about how to cook bun sale, and now here we have this glorious uh, spread before us. So right here, we have the beautiful bun sale that mm -hmm. we cooked. We have yeah. a bundle of herbs mm -hmm. and grains. We have our peanut sauce, some pickled vegetables. Uh, we call it Vietnamese kimchi. Oh, Vietnamese yeah. kimchi. People make their own custom sauce in the bowl. Yeah. I want to see your style, your custom sauce. Can mm -hmm. you show me what yes. you do? Like okay. Now first. Oh, you can keep going. 
So first she takes some peanut sauce. She puts it in her tiny bowl. One scoop, two scoops. She's decided that's enough scoops. Next, she go, oh, what is this? What do you got here? This is the chili sauce. She's gonna mix it up. And so that's gonna make her peanut sauce a little bit that's spicy. Done. done? Yeah. Wow, and here's my style. Mm -hmm. I like to put this one here. <laughs> and then, now this is my peanut sauce. <laughs> Panseo can be found all over Vietnam. Yep. Each place does it a little bit differently. Mm. In the central region, they like to make the little tiny taco version. Yeah, exactly. And even the way they wrap it is different. I know that in Saigon, they often will wrap it with the green vegetables. But here, we have this kind of soft rice paper. This kind of rice paper, you don't need to get it wet first, do you? No, no need to get wet. It's uh, already to serve. By the time you put some herbs in it and some banseo and some other things, mix it up, yep. put some sauce on it, it already gets soft and chewy on its own. So here we go. We're gonna use some of these tasty herbs and greens. I'm gonna throw on some kimchi, kimchi. which looks like it's probably made from cabbage and carrots. Exactly. We're gonna take this other beautiful half of the bonseo that you cut, super crunchy. It's all about the rolling it up, baby. You gotta roll it up. And out of 10, what do you give me for a score out of 10? Eight. Eight, this is eight out of 10? Yep. I'll take it. I almost got, had a B average in high school. We've got our bowl of peanut sauce <laughs> and we wanna get that thing saturated. And then we take a big bite. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> Yummy. It's yummy. This is absolutely one of my favorite meals. This rice paper on the outside, it's so wonderfully chewy. And then you're biting into the crunchy banseo after that. You have a lot of fresh herbs and the peanut sauce is to die for. It's just salty, creamy. There's little uh, chunks of real peanut in there. So good. Thank you for showing me this place. Uh, for you guys, if you're interested in this kind of insider Vietnam foodie experience, actually, this place is on the Hoi An One Trip Food Tour. This company, One Trip, they're putting on amazing food tours in Hoi An, in this city, also in Saigon. I've been on the tour myself. I've been at this restaurant myself. It's delicioso. Links are in the description down below. I'll see you next week. A peace.